All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep finding a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate every ticket one day at a time. Most definitely let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, the week, the weekends. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love. The outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Lord has done for us through our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always praise him, always worship him, always keep him first, always thank him, trust him in everything you got going on in your life forever. Amen. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let's be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony of fellowship and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his name's sake. Stay strong, steadfast and firm. We are with you always. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new believers out there, all the new creatures in Christ, all the born again people. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anyone who has a brand new life and new beginnings for the most high, God bless you with those testimonies, with those encounters, those dreams, those visions. Most definitely much love to you for sure. If you did not repent, get baptized. Go repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Hallelujah. Praise him. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the most high. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful sound. Cry out to him. Dance. Express yourself. Play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the most high. He is always watching us, so always serving with gladness and joy and always worship the spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Let us be washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the blood. Let us, let, through, through his blood. Let us let the, let's plead the blood of the Messiah over our lives. Let's be washed by water through the word. Let's keep our lamp and oils. Let us stay in our purpose and call for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most high has told us person according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the most high. Keep the faith, keep the testament of Messiah, keep the word of God, keep the law, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way through Deuteronomy, line upon line, precept upon precept. Write a copy of all of it and keep it near and dear in your heart. Amen. Embrace the new covenant. Keep being led by the spirit. Keep helping people in the kingdom. Keep, keep helping people along your journey of life and keep spreading that gospel. Amen. Most definitely. Much love to all of you out there and keep bearing good fruit. Amen. 
So in today's message, what I will do is go through today's daily devotional, and then I will close out with a prayer. I'll close out with a priestly blessing. I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right, y'all. Let's see what we have here with this daily devotional. Your daily prayer is based in Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 4. All right. The quote is, in God's hands, our struggles become tools for transformation. Quote of the daily devotional. Today's devotional focuses on Jeremiah, a prophet chosen by God to declare judgment on Judah. During the reign of King Josiah, Jeremiah was called by God to deliver a message of judgment to the people of Judah. Despite facing severe persecution and rejection, Jeremiah remained faithful to his calling. Story of Bible in a Year, The Broken Pot. Scripture. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 5 through 6. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the challenges God has called you to face? Jeremiah's story is a profound example of unwavering faith in the midst of adversity. Called to be a prophet during the time of great sin in Judah, Jeremiah had the daunting task of declaring God's judgment. What would you do if your mission was met with anger and violence? Despite the fierce opposition, Jeremiah's commitment never wavered. God revealed to him that his judgment was like a potter shaping clay, intended to mold Judah into something beautiful. How often do we see our hardships as opportunities for transformation? Jeremiah's courage came from his deep trust in God's plan. He understood that true obedience often involves suffering, but it also leads to profound spiritual growth. How can you find strength to endure your trials, knowing that God is at work in your life? Jeremiah's visions and experiences teach us that God's discipline is not merely punitive, but redemptive. Just as the potter works carefully to shape the clay, God uses our struggles to refine and prepare us for his purposes. Are there areas in your life where you need to submit to God's shaping hand? Amen. Reflection. Reflect on the ways God might be using your current circumstance to shape and refine you. Are there aspects of your character or faith that need to be molded? Trust that God's intentions are for your ultimate good and his glory. Spend time in prayer, asking God to reveal his purposes in your trials and to give you the strength to endure with faith. Hallelujah. Amen. The scripture, Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 4. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 4. Prayer. As the words of today's reading echoes deep in my ears, may the truth be etched on my heart like, to, like, like just real firm. For today is the day that I accept my call to be set apart and consecrated to do great works for your name. Heavenly Father, when doubts begin to arise in my mind, like Jeremiah, I thank you that your world will, your word will rise up within me like a flame and burn all limiting beliefs that seek to hold me back. Your word in Jeremiah chapter one, verse five says that before I was in my mother's womb, you had already called me. So I thank you that no name, no words or no harmful lies that were ever spoken over my life can bear any weight. Because before they spoke them, you already spoke blessing of purpose over me. Whether I had people who believed in me or people who doubted me, it doesn't take away from my calling and my destiny. Therefore, like Jeremiah, I will stand tall and speak what you tell me to speak. I will build what you called me to build, knowing that nothing can stop the momentum of my life because the potter of my life has me in, on his will of destiny and in his hands. I am molded and created for greatness, and I thank you, Lord, that through you it shall be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Heavenly Father is in control. Amen. Most definitely, most definitely. Praise the Most High God of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Praise the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham. He's the God of Isaac. He's the God of Jacob. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He's the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High God forever. His only begotten Son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. Yes, he is risen. He is sent at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Hallelujah. He is the almighty, true living God. Praise the most high, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, 
Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father. Faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church. The hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He's the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the light of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my redeemer, my salvation, my safety, my defense, my protector, our provider, hallelujah. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Hai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He's the great physician, can heal all things, cure all things. He's the carpenter, can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. You can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is over water to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. Know he could do for you. Abide in him and abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in the Son's name. It shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, help, comfort, double portion, blessings, unexpected good news, unexpected blessings, unexpected turnarounds. I speak that over your life forever. Most definitely. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has saved you. Your faith has blessed you. Your faith is how you overcome the world. We walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. We're justified by faith in the Messiah. Hallelujah. Praise him. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Most definitely, he got us forever. His, his timing is perfect time and due time in God. Amen. He got us, people. Nothing to worry or doubt about when he's in control. Amen. Praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful Counselor, the Word, the Word of God, the Word of Life, the Word made flesh, the Living Word, the Lord, the Word of Elohim, the Word of Yahuwah. Most definitely, praise Him always, forever, Living Word. Most definitely, His Word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. Every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the Book of Proverbs says. And we know that His words are double-edged swords. The Book of Hebrews says the Messiah is the High Priest of the Order of Melchizedek. He is the everlasting King. He's the sinless High Priest. He's the Way everlasting. Praise him always forevermore. Prayers up for all the poor people. Prayers up for all the widows, all the orphans, all the fatherless. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for the strangers, the sojourners, the refugees. Prayers up for all peoples, all walks of life. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakathah. 
Prayers are for all of you out there. Let's repent, get baptized, forgive others, so that the Holy Father can forgive us. Write a copy of the Torah, all the laws and commandments, people, and be blameless before the Lord your God. Circumcise your hearts before the Lord your God. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.